Okay, so the question is find the voltages at the three non-reference nodes in the circuit. Okay, what is non-reference node? It is the nodes that is not the reference. Where is the reference? The ground. So here is the reference node. So in the reference node, the ground will be, the voltage will be zero. So we'll have P is equal to zero here. So we need to find out the voltage at node number one here not number two and then not number three okay so the first step is label the notes which we already done label the note. okay and then the second step is assume the direction of the current assume the currents direction Okay, and for the branch with current source, I just follow the arrow here. So this is going up, and then this one is going to the left. Okay, and for the rest of it, I just assume that is going to the right here, to the right here, and going down here, and going down here. And then the third step will be doing KCL for each node. 2 KCL for each node. It is exactly what we gonna do from here. Okay, let's see the first one. We need to do KCL at node 1. Okay, this node here. KCL said that the sum of the current that goes in will equal to the sum of the currents that goes out okay here the only current that goes in is this one and that current is this 4 ampere current source so we will have 4 on the left hand side and all the other currents is going out so we put the equal sign here okay now let's work on this current here and this current start from this node and it goes to this node. We can calculate that using Ohm's law. Where is the voltage that the current comes from? V1. And then minus the node where the current is going to. So we will have V2 here. And it is divided by the resistance between them. So we will have 3 ohm here. Good. We have still another current that goes out here so we will have plus again the current goes from here this node here not number one to the node number three so we have where the current comes from so we will have v1 minus where the current goes to which is v3 and then that is divided by the current between them so we will have I mean the resistance between them. And that is 2 ohm. Good. Multiply both sides by, I think we will have 6 here. So we can cancel out 3 and 2. And on the left hand side, we will have 24. On the right hand side, 3 and 6 will cancel into 2. So we'll have 2v1 minus 2v2. And then 2 and 6 will cancel out into 3. So we'll have 3v1 then minus 3v3 good 2 plus 3 is equal to 5 we will have 5v1 and then we will have minus 2v2 and then minus 3v3 all of that will equal to 24 good let's set this as equation number one and I think nothing more that we can do from here. Okay. And that is KCL at node 1. Okay. Let's save the equation and move on to node number 2. Okay. Let's play the same game for node number 2. KCL at node number 2. Okay. KCL said the sum of the current that goes in 
is equal to the sum of the current that goes out. Good. The only current that goes in is this one. And we can calculate it using Ohm's law. It is the voltage in the node where the current came from, which is V1. Minus where the current goes to, which is node number 2. So I will have V2 here. Divided by the resistance between them, which is 3 ohm. Good. And then, is there any other current that goes in? Yeah, I have this one here. So we will have 4 IX. So we will have plus 4 IX here. Because that is a current source. So the current here will be 4 IX. And then the last current that goes out here is this one here. So here we will have the current, the nodes where the current are from. So we'll have here V2 minus where the node is going to, which is this node here. But this node is our ground, so that is 0. Divided by the resistance between them, that is 4. Good. And now we need to convert this Ix into voltage. But Ix is this one. So maybe let's copy this first V1 minus V3 divided by 3 plus 4. And what is Ix? Ix is use on long, okay? The node where the, volt, the current came from, which is V2 minus the node where the current is going to. So we'll have 0 and all of that divided by the resistance between them. So we'll have 4. And then on the right hand side, we'll have V2 minus 0. There is V2 divided by 4. Okay, this 4 and 4 will cancel each other, I think. Yeah, so we can multiply both sides here by 12 so we can cancel 3 and 4 right so on the left hand side we will have 4 v1 minus 4 v2 and then okay this one will be i think 12 v2 right because v2 minus 0 will be v2 and then multiply it by 12 so we'll have plus 12 V2 and then this one will be equal to 3 V2. Good. And now let's simplify things. So we'll have 4 V1 minus 4 plus 12 is plus 8 plus 8 minus 3. That will be plus 5 plus 5v2 and that will equal to 0. Okay, nothing that we can do further from here. So let's save this as equation number 2. Okay. And we have three variables but three equations. So we need one more equation which is from node number 3. Okay, let's clean up the board first. Let's do another KCL, but this time at node number 3. KCL at node 3. Again, KCL said that the sum of the current that goes in will equal to the sum of the current that goes out. Good. Now, the, here is the current that goes in here. And that current can be calculated using Ohm's law. The node where the current came from, which is V1, minus the node where the current goes to. So we'll have V3 divided by the resistance between them. So I will have 2. Good. And all the currents is going out. So this current here is just 4Ix. So I will have that will equal to 4Ix. And then here also the current that goes out. So we'll have plus the current where, I mean the node where it came from. So we'll have V3 minus the node where it goes to 0. Here, divided by the resistance between them, that will be 6. 
code, we need to replace the IX in term of the voltage. So we will have V1 minus V3 here divided by 2 and then for IX, what is IX? IX is this current here. So the node where it came from is V2 minus where it goes, which is 0 divided by the resistance between them divided by 4 here and then that will be multiplied by this one v3 not multiplied at by v3 minus 0 that will be v3 divided by 6 good let's multiply both sides by 12 i think and this 4 and 4 can cancel each other and here we will have 6 v1 right because 2 and 12 will cancel each other so we'll have 6 v1 and then minus 6 v3 and that will equal to 12 v2 plus 2 v3 okay and then let's simplify things so we'll have 6 v1 and then minus 12 v2 and then minus 8 v3 all of that will equal to 0 and then this will be equation number 3 good we have now 3 equation with 3 variable we should be able to solve that Okay, and the last step that we need to do is just to solve the equation. Solve the equation. So usually in circuit analysis class, you can bring your calculator. So my suggestion is to solve the equation like this. It is three equation with three variables. It will take a very long time to calculate it manually. So we just need to use calculator so we can do it faster right and how to do that let's set up our calculator this is our casio fx570 and let's set this up as this complex number i mean equation solver this button here and equation solver is number five okay we need three variables so we have number two here Okay, we plug the coefficient so the coefficient of v1 is 5 the coefficient of v2 is minus 2 and then the coefficient of v3 is minus 3 and the constant term is 24 and that is the first equation the second one we will have 4 and then 5 and then the coefficient of v3 will be 0 and all of that will also equal to zero good and then the third equation we will have six for v1 and then minus 12 for v2 then minus eight for v3 and then zero on the constant term okay so we will have v1 here the value of x is 32 so we'll have v1 is 32 Two, and the unit here will be in volt. Good. And then what is V2? V2 is, is 1 minus 25.6 minus 25.6 volt. And then what is V3? V3 is the Z value, which is 62.4. And that is the not voltages, which is the one asked by the question. Okay, I think that's all for this problem. We do it step by step carefully. And I think that's all for this problem. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.